I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It is Manchester United up against Real Sociedad. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. they line up for Manchester United well as a team Lee they love to apply almost suffocating pressure based on the lineup do you expect the same approach today yeah I think so Derek it makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect it forces mistakes so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today Thank you. so the starting 11 for Real Sociedad now there has been some discussion about the style of play, some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball, they sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Offside, close one. Bruno Fernandes and he read it superbly Gorosabel now with Porto well he's a player who just seems to get better and better I'm talking of course about Bruno Fernandes Lee, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. That's what you want from the player. The top end of your pitch. Get the ball, put the ball in the net. It's a simple job, really. Pogba. Mason Greenwood. Fred with it. And they are on the move again. Bruno Fernandes. And back with Pogba. Oyar Sabal. It's with Mikel Marino. Pure ball control. And the possession lost, intercepted. Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, and there to intervene. Porto, dangerous looking attack. Good looking pass. Marino. Beautifully timed. Rashford can be problematic for opposing defenders. Cuts it back. 
It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Mikel Marino. Robin Lenormand. It's with Mikel Marino. Nacho Monreal. It's with Oyar Sabal. Isaac. David Silva. Lenormand. Mikel Marino. It's with David Silva. Read it well. Rashford. Rashford unable to hold it. Mikel Marino. Nacho Monreal. Neat interception by Pogba. Fred. Pogba has it. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, showing excellent vision. Martial can be dangerous from this position. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Bruno Fernandes. Martial. Nicely cut out. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Gorosabel. Ander Guevara. Lenormand. And Pogba taking charge defensively. Well, the first half of this Europa League final is in the history books, and I think it's fair to say, Lee, the game needs just a bit of a shove. Well, I was hoping not to use this word tonight, but turgid. It really is a very, very turgid game. Not enjoying this at all. We need something to change in this second half. The quest for Europa League success, and the second half of this final is underway. Throw-ins given. Nacho Monreal. Mikel Marino. It's with David Silva. Here's one Bisaka. Bye. Pogba. Shaw. Here is Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Anthony Martial. Martial. They do pass the ball with authority. Can they take the lead here? Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. And firing it into the area. Martial. And now Shaw. Oh, it might be. And a marvellous save. Well, his reflex is there, absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers to pull saves off like that. Substitution for Manchester United. And off the pitch, number nine, Anthony Martial. To be replaced by number seven, Edison Cavani.
So the corner played into the box and he clears the danger. Eric Bailly. Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Paul Pogba. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, body in the way. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. David Silva. Can they take advantage? Just cleared away in the nick of time. And they're making a change. Played into the centre of the box. Well clattered away. Eric Bailly. Well, it's been all United in the last 15 minutes or so, Derek. They have set the tempo. They've used their possession to create chances. They just need the icing on the cake now. Couldn't keep it. Bruno Fernandes. More than decent this from United. Opportunity to take the lead, and with that, they take the lead! Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact, does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. What a big moment in the dying goal embers. Will it prove decisive here? Number seven, Edinson Cavani. Oyar Sabal. David Silva. It's with Iaramendi. Nacho Monreal. Iaramendi. Fifteen minutes remaining. Mikel Marino. Oh, good use of the ball. It's with Mikel Marino. It's with Iaramendi. Isaac. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Bailly. Bruno Fernandes. Cavani. Fred with it. Pogba. Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Here is Fred. Pogba. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the cap, Lee Dixon? The United players have to stay focused on not making any mistakes in order to protect this slender lead. If a bit of magic from the opposition gets them back in it, there's little you can do about that. Oyar Sabal and it's with Isaac this could level it able to close down the shot and if you're wondering about added time two minutes it'll be 
Eric Bailly. Bogba has it. Greenwood. Bruno Fernandes. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. And quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think.